pretty sure I'm about to record my own death. Game over. Oh my god, that was sick! Who put that there? <clears throat> All right, here we go. So, first things first, keys in there. We don't want to lose those. Um, let's push this bad boy in. All right. Yourself a little head start. Oh. Uh, just love how stable this kayak is. Absolutely love it. About this bad boy. Okay. Uh, cool. Alrighty. Normally I put these up in the rod holders, but not right now because we got to go under that bridge. So we'll keep them flat. It's the last thing you want is to break your rods that you spend hundreds of dollars on. Now, we're going to make our way over to the river, the Detroit River that is, and we're going to bottom bounce with some night crawlers for walleyes. Also, we can expect to catch catfish, you know, mud puppies. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> Cool. And we're back. Now, just to follow this marina out to the river. As you can see, the two buoys right there that's leading into the river. And um, we're about to get rigged up. I'll show you guys what we're using in a minute. Water is very clean. Uh, nice clouds covering the sun. Thank God. Holy cow, it's been hot lately. I mean, hot, hot, like 90 degrees. This is a nice break. But um, I'm gonna head out maybe 30 feet out. And uh, we're gonna be running these bottom bouncers in about 20 to 30 feet. Some night crawlers. Catch you guys at the spot. So this is our bottom bouncer today. We just got it on a, a custom Elite by Luz with a Air Eye Rod. And for our crawler harness, just had it. Back to what I was saying, I just got this uh, Milts Tackle brand crawler harness. Just looks like this. It's a white and black blade, Colorado blade. I'm gonna put this here because we're not littering. And uh, it's a, a crawler harness meant for night crawlers. As you can see, there's two hooks here. If it had one hook, that'd be for a minnow. But since it has two, it's good for a night crawler so you can really get a long piece on there and it'll hold. Both those hooks will hold that night crawler nice, nice and tight. So make sure to take your time unthreading this uh, 
harness because you do not want it knotting up like it is right now. Oh my freaking gosh. All right, there we go. Problem solved. So you'll take this loop end, you put it right into the swivel like that. Clip the swivel in. So now you got your bottom bouncer and your harness right here. It's about a couple foot. Anyways, let's get some uh, meat on there. These guys are not slowing down. They're not moving. Oh, they're moving. They're okay. So you want to take a whole night crawler and you'll just thread it through there a couple times so we don't lose it. And we'll also take this, thread it through the same way a couple times. And there you go. You got your night crawler down there. Wash your hands. Oh man, these guys did not slow down. All right, there we go. So the, the idea is that rig is just going to be bouncing on the bottom, hence the name bottom bouncer. And that spinner is just gonna be spinning along with that night crawler. So you just wanna throw it back like that and let it drop to the bottom boom on bottom close up your bill and I can probably be okay just drifting like this but I'm gonna add a little bit of action by pedaling just a just a slight bit not too much just a little bit drop it down because the depths will change in this river it's a lot of holes and transitions not the funnest way to fish but definitely a lethal way to catch them because they just can't resist it in the summer months i can just feel that bottom bouncer bouncing on the bottom hitting all those rocks i can feel that spinner going as well once you feel a bite your rod will just You'll feel a little bit of a ticking and your rod will just load right up. You'll know when you have one, believe me. Now, if I was on a boat, I would want to use my electric, my electric motor to just slowly troll my way down the river. You can also go up the river. So it's always a good idea to pull up your rig and make sure the worm's still on there. You got no weeds on there. Just to really quick check it. Change of plans. We've got some rain coming. Pretty sure I'm about to record my own death. Holy smokes. This came out of nowhere. We're almost there. We can still make this. <laughs> Look at that storm cell. Came out of absolutely nowhere. Oh my god. Hurry. Hurry, dude. Hurry, bro. We gotta make this. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> we gotta go through the weeds. We have to. There's no choice.
paddling for my life. Paddling for my life here. Thankfully, the wind's blowing in my favor. If it was blowing the other way, I'd be getting pushed out to the river, most likely to my death. Holy smokes, that is so freaky how fast it can change. There's white caps on the river now. Holy, that happened so fast. Pedaling for my life, quite literally. Pedaling. Barely moving. Barely moving here. Fine. Oh yeah. Look at all the weeds. They got stuck to my boat. gonna miss us but you gotta be prepared because the weather is not always right that was a close call today guys we nearly died out there oh man you see the lightning coming down hard holy what a close call guys what a close call man look at the trees bent over wow Almost died out there. <laughs> Close call. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. That is what not to do when going fishing on a kayak or fishing in general. Oh, good job you got in, man. <laughs> Just barely, man. <laughs> Bro, my heart was beating so fast. Holy cow. Oh man, that switched in a second. All right. I know, right? Well, luckily we made it. We're safe now. We can probably even fish still, but we're not gonna do all that. We're not gonna push our luck. Let's head on in. Lake Erie 
I probably wouldn't have had a chance and I probably would not be filming this video right now. Thank God though, we made it. And uh, you can see it's already starting to rain right now, man. We just got off in time. Crazy things can happen out there. You guys gotta be careful. Especially me, I checked the weather and it didn't say it was gonna come, but it still came. So you can't really rely on, you know, weather uh, apps or things like that. You know, you just gotta, you know, trust your instinct. Like if it looks bad, get off the water. It's not worth it. No fish is worth it at all. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching today's episode. Leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Have a beautiful night and keep those rods 